Hi, I am Dr. Prashant Kumar Vardhan, Professor, Mechanical Engineering Department, GIS College of Engineering, Kolani. Today, my subject topic is Advanced Welding Technology, ME 703A. You have already learned about the welding processes in advanced in manufacturing process in the second year. Today, I will uh, we'll deal with the welding technology and classification of welding and uh, uh, process of welding, advantages of welding, disadvantages of welding, application of welding, merits, demerits, and also defects in welding and remedies. So we'll start with the introduction. Start with the introduction, that is today's lecture. Today's content is syllabus of the course, definition of welding, history of welding, common welding base material, general advantage of welding, general disadvantage of welding, welding as compared to casting, welding as compared to debating, practical application of welding. Various types of metal joining process are there. That is one is mechanical joining, bolts and nuts, screw joints, debating joints. Number two, adhesive bonding, epoxy resins, silicon resins, elastomers. These are applied in plastic materials, joining plastic materials. Third is welding, bridging, and soldering. Mostly we'll deal with these subjects is welding. According to lesson plan, total 36 classes are there. Number one, today's lecture introduction and basic processes. Number two, review of welding processes. Number three, joint design, process description, parametric influence on in welding. Number four, arc welding, that is, singlet metal arc welding, submerged arc welding. Number five, lecture, gas metal arc welding, is me welding. Number six, does gas tungsten arc welding, it is thick. So according to this 20, 36 classes are there, we'll cover syllabus within these 36 classes. Textbooks. Opi Khanna, the textbooks of welding technology, Dhanpat Rai and Sons. Alice Kumar, welding engineering and technology, Khanna Publishers, M. Bhattacharya, Weldment Design, the Association of Engineers, India Publications, J.C. Depold and T.J. Koteki, Welding Metallurgy and Availability of Stainless Steels, Willy India Private Limited, New Delhi, Udin, Frank and Wolf, Welding for Engineers, John Willy and Sons, J.L. Morris, Welding Processes and Procedures. will follow these books. So introduction, welding. In general, it is a process of joining two material plates and make an integrated one. The large bulk of materials that are welded are metals and their alloys. The welding is also applied to the joining of other materials such as thermal plastics. In welding, heat is supplied either by electrical or by a gas torch, or by some, some other means. The most essential requirement is heat, but in some process, pressure is also employed. History of welding. From the Middle Ages, blacksmiths of the Middle Ages welded various types of iron tools by hammering. That is basically forge welding. They 
welding methods remains more or less unchanged until the dawn of the 19th century. Late 19th century, engineers and scientists applied advances of electricity to heat and joint metals. Early 20th century, prior to First World War, welding was not trusted as a method to join two metals due to crack issues. 1930s and 40s, industrial welding gains acceptance and is used extensively in the war effort to build tanks, air caps, ships, etc. The use of welding in today's technology is very expensive, extensive. It is a remarkable rise since 1930. 20th century, from that is 1900 onwards, coated metal electrode was first introduced by Stonganger. The coating helps the arc to be much more stable and increases the arc forces also. A number of other welding processes were developed during this period, that is seam welding, spot welding, flash part welding, and projection welding. In 1919, after the end of First World War, the American Welding Society was established by Concord Avery Adams. The aim of the society was the advance, advancement of welding processes. In 1920, automatic welding was first introduced, which was invented by P.O. Noble of General Electric. In 1930, the New York Navy Yard developed star welding. Star welding was increasingly used for the construction industry and also for safe building. In 1940, gas tanks and alcohol link was another significant milestone in the history of welding, which was developed in Battle, Battle Memorial Institute in 1948. In 1960, there were several advancements in the welding industry during the 1960s. Electrostack welding, glass mark welding were invented during this time. In 1990, 91, welding stood invented friction steel, steel welding. It is a solid state joining process which utilizes frictional heat of a rotating tool and steering effect of the tool probe for solid state joining. The use of welding in today's technology is extensive. Now welding, according to American Welding Society, definition of welding is, welding process is a material joining process which produces coalitions of materials by heating them to suitable temperature with or without the application of pressure and with or without the use of filler material. The filler material, if used, has a melting temperature similar to the parts being joined. Welding is used for making permanent joints. Application, this wide use as a fabrication and repairing process in industries like fabrication of ships, pressure vessels, automobile bodies, offshore platform, bridges, welded pipes, sealing of nuclear fuel, and explosives, etc. The use of welding in today's technology is extensive. This growth is faster than general industrial growth. General advantages of welding. A good weld is as strong as the base metal. General welding equipment is not very costly. Probable welding equipment is also available. Welding permits considerable freedom in design. A large number of metal alloys, both similar and dissimilar, can be joined by welding. Welding can join work pieces by spots as continuous pressure tight seams, end to end, and in number of other configurations. Welding can be mechanized. 
generally disadvantage of welding. Welding gives out harmful irritations. There is excess lights, ultraviolet rays, fumes, and spatters. Welding results in residual stasis and distortion of work pieces due to heat. Jigs and fixtures are generally required to hold and position the parts to be welded. A ski, skilled welder is, is a must to produce a good welding jobs. Welding heat produces metallurgical changes. The structure of the welded joints is not same as that of the parent metals. A welded joint, for many reasons, needs stress relief heat treatment. Common welding base material. Metals can be classified as ferrous and non ferrous. Ferrous material finding day to day welding applications are well, number one is wrought iron, whose carbon is less than 0 0.035. Number two, cast irons, carbon and silicons are 2.3 to 4.5 and 0.5 to 3 percent, respectively. Carbon steel low carbon, that is 0 0.05 to 0 0.3, medium carbon steel, that is 0 0.3 to 0.59, and high carbon steel, that is 0 0.6 to 1.5 carbon. Cast steel, carbon contents between 0.2 to 2.1 by weight, by percentage weight, depending on the grade and also other alloying elements, manganese, chromium, palladium, tungsten. Stainless steel also can be welded, that is more than 18% chromium, etc. Also known for non-ferrous material, copper-based alloy, aluminium, other materials also can be joined by welding. Welding as compared to casting. Machine tool beds which were earlier cast are now fabricated using welding. In many fields, welding has replaced casting processes. Some of the reasons for the same as follows. Welding is more economical and is a much faster process as compared to casting. Fabricated mild steel structures are lighter as compared to cast ones. Fabricated mild steel structure have more tensile strength and rigidity as compared to cast, cast ones. Cost of pattern and storing is eliminated. For casting, pattern is required and that is eliminated. Welding as compared to casting. As compared to casting, fewer persons are involved in a welding fabrication. Structural shapes not easily obtainable with casting can be produced by welding with much difficulty. Welding design involves low cost and it is very flexible also. Fabrication by welding saves machining cost involving cast parts. Welding as compared to riveting. Bridges, ships, boilers which were previously riveted are now welded. Welding is more economical and is a much faster process as compared to riveting. Welded pressure vessels are more pressure tight as compared to riveted ones. Ratio between weight of welded metals and the entire weight of structure is much, much lesser than the ratio between the weight of the rivets and entire weight of the structure. Cover plates, connecting angles, Cassette plates, etc., needed in riveted construction are not required when welding is done. Members of such shapes that present difficulty for riveting can be easily can be easily welded. Welding can be carried out at any point on a structure but rebating always require enough clearance to be done. A well structure process a better finish and appearance than corresponding rebated structure. Layout for punching and drilling of holes is not required in welding. 
that is practical application of welding. Welding has been employed in industry as a tool for regular fabrication of automobile cars, aircrafts, refrigerators, ships, offshore structure, etc. Repair and maintenance work that is joining broken parts, rebuilding worn out components, etc. A few important applications of welding are listed below. Aircraft construction, A. Welded engine mounted, mounts, B. Turbine frames for jet engines, C. Rocket motor, fuel tanks and fittings, etc. Automobile construction, arc welded car wheels, frame side rails, automobile frame, brackets, etc. Bridges, tires, constructions, section lengths, etc. Building, column based plates, stresses, erection of structure, etc. For pressure vessels and tanks, clad and lined plate, steel plates. The sail construction, joining of nozzle to the sail, etc. For storage tanks, oil, gas, water storage tanks for rail road equipment, rail underframe, air receiver engines, etc. For piping and pipelines, a roll plates piping, open piping joints, oil, gas and gasoline pipelines, etc. For ships, sail frame, deck and bulkhead stiffeners, guard out to sales, etc. For truck and trailers, machine tools, frames, cutting tools and dies. Household and office furniture. In addition, arc welding finds various applications in repair and maintenance work. There are basically two types of joining processes. One is mechanical bonding, another is atomic bonding. Mechanical bonding classifications temporary with screw elements, permanent, semi permanent, that is, you know, rivets, stitches, staples, swing fit. Number two is atomic bonding classification, that is, welding. Classification of welding. Welding classification can be done based on the following aspects, depending on the source of heat, depending on the application of pressure, depending on the different phases of base and filler materials, depending on the composition of the joints, depending on the position of electrodes, depending on the mechanisms. The welding classifications. Basically, welding can be classified in two to welding processes, that is one is pressure welding and another is non-pressure welding. Non-pressure welding, is a, most of the non-pressure welding is fusion welding. And 95%, 90% welding is done by fusion welding. Another pressure welding is the solid state welding. So this is the divided and fusion welding is a more of the welding processes are fusion welding. Now, oxy fuel gas welding, say one type of fusion welding, AL acetidine, oxy acetidine, oxy hydrogen, arc welding, gas metal arc welding, manual metal arc welding, gas tungsten arc welding, plasma arc welding, cellular metal arc, star arc, submerged arc, carbon arc, flux coal arc welding. Next, solid state welding. That is diffusion welding, explosive welding, forge welding, friction welding, hot pressure welding, roll welding, ultrasonic welding. Now this resistance welding, flash welding, percussion welding, projection welding, resistance seam, resistance spot, upset welding.
Other welding processes and allied processes are electron beam welding, electrostatic welding, induction welding, laser welding, thermit welding, etc. Number three, heterogeneous welding is some uh, joining processes, bridging and soldering. Diff bridging, furnace induction bridging, infrared bridging, resistance bridging, soldering, soft soldering, and hard soldering. Types of welding, depending on the different phases of base and filler materials. There are three categories. One is liquid state welding, solid state welding, and another third is liquid solid state. That I have told that uh, heterogeneous welding, it is bridging uh, and soldering is there. Now, uh, liquid state welding, all fusion welding is under liquid state welding. Depend, uh, and solid state welding, uh, friction welding, ultrasonic welding, diff diffusion welding, forge welding, roll welding, explosive welding. Depending on the composition, auto, three types are the autogenous, homogeneous, and heterogeneous. Autogenous, no filler material is added during this joint. All type of solid state, solid phase welding, resistance welding, and non functional welding, autogenous welding. And homogeneous composition, that is composition of filler materials are used during this joining is same as the parent metals, that is gas welding, arc welding, thermite welding, all are same parent metals. A heterogeneous welding, uh, that is on soldering and basic composition of filler materials used during this joining is different as the parent metals. Now, welding processes, well, as I have told already, the classification is fusion welding and solid phase welding. Two types of basically. We can divide into the, the fusion welding involves melting and solidification. Uh, solid state welding, explosive bonding, diffusion welding, friction welding. Fusion welding, the types of fusion welding is gas welding, arc welding. And arc welding, there are several welding processes of them. Teak welding, knee welding, plus or arc welding, submerged arc welding, etc. There is thermic welding spot welding and pieces and welding is electron beam welding, laser beam welding, ultrasonic welding, plasma welding. Fusion welding. Commonly used processes, the fusion is very commonly used processes, heat source, electric arc, gas flame, laser. Filler material, Electrode, rods, wires, powders, fluxes. Independently added filler, and some case no filler, autogenous welding. So we have completed this today's lecture. So welding is a vast subject. American Welding Society, we follow the American Welding Society mm -hmm. guidelines, all the manufacturing, all the construction. All fabrication works are done through the specification of American Welding Society. So next class, we'll discuss about the different welding processes. Thank you very much. Okay.